it was challenging because most of the time I work in my own studio or in my own space. Right. You know, I have headphones going or music going. Yeah, I remember. And, um, you know, it's like the music I pick. It's the time of day I feel like working. It's the model I chose. Like, everything is in my control. And so I haven't worked in an environment that I don't really control for a lot of years. You know, when I was in college, I did... Um, a lot of drawing on location classes when mm-hmm. I was at um, when I was in school in New York, and um, those classes are really challenging. It's like you're drawing in Times Square, you're drawing at South Street Seaport, people are coming up to you, they're talking to you, and you really get used to it. But I hadn't done that in a lot of time, so it took me a little while to to stop worrying about what's going on in the room, mm-hmm. whether everybody else is having a good time, and just kind of really, you know, get into my painting. I had a, I had one guy that had come to see it with his wife, and he was on Facebook, and he was asking me questions about, um, about how I do what I do. So when it got to the point where I was mixing the skin tone, you know, I just called him over, and I was like, this is my basic skin tone. These are the colors that I use, and this is how I mix it. And, um, and I said, and it's the base for the skin tone, no matter what race, ethnicity the person is, I always start the same way with the same three colors, and then I just add to that. Mm-hmm. Cause we're all really the same underneath, yeah. you know. I ate an awful lot of cake. Oh. Um, <laughs> I, I probably ate more cake there than I had eaten in any one time in a number of years. <laughs> you might have to try to take it to downtown Cornelius, like if there's a park or a square, you know, and just set up the model mm-hmm. in a garden and have the artists come in order to get people to think about coming over to Clearwater if they haven't before. Mm-hmm. That's a you great know, idea. Take it to them, kind of a plain air kind of deal. That's a great idea. Um, I went to an, a visual arts high school. Yeah. I went to the college prep section of my high school. I kind of snuck down to the art room. But um, there were, you know, there were a lot of, you know, we had dancers, singers, actors, and visual artists. And that kind of reminded me a little bit of, of high school. You know, when you're around um, those different types of creative energies. And I really enjoyed it. Because, like, um, because like the, that painting from life, like, uh, for me, like, I do a lot of these finished paintings. A lot of them use, you know, uh, photo reference and that kind of thing, but mm-hmm. they wouldn't be any good if I didn't take the time and paint from the from the live model. Mm-hmm. So that to me is like um, it's what you do to keep your skills sharp. You know, it's what you do to you know stay like artistically fit. You know, it's like a workout. Mm-hmm. And watching Q do his thing with the five words and improvisational, I was like, this is clearly, you know, this is clearly his workout. Him testing his brain to make sure that his skills are sharp, mm-hmm. you know? And um, and that's what I feel like we were doing, you know, painting from the, you know, painting from the model. 